Hey, welcome back. This is Moo, and I'm still playing Mountain Blade. We've got eight prisoners, barely three people. I'm down to 23% health. That means I think I'm dead if I encounter anyone. Uh, my two meat shields perform their duties admirably, and we're heading to Korra to see if we can find some more meat shields and maybe sell these guys off into slavery. So here we go. What level am I? Oh, I'm level four now. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to have to... Hmm. I'm not sure what the next thing I'm going to do is. It might be charisma. Like three levels worth of charisma just to get my leadership and prisoner management up. I could go for some more intelligence. These two are always good. Whatever. We'll worry about that when we get to it. Let's hope we don't run into anyone. Because I think I'm dead. Pretty much your character or any character is... Whoa, what was that? Farmers versus deserters. Oh, wish I could help you. I think, uh... Sorry, I'm just plugging something in here. Why did my phone reboot just then? It's very weird. Okay, anyway. Uh, normally I would go to help them against these infantry, but they're a little strong for us, and like I said, we have no health, so... Sorry, farmers. Let's get in a car off. See if there's anyone here that we can sell stuff to. Marnid, we don't want him. Mathel, we don't want her. <sighs> no one here. We could spend some money on the Tavern Keeper to make everyone like us more, but I don't really care that much. Let's just sell our stuff off. See if they have a lance. Uh, let's sell this, 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 this. Hey, remember your shirt there? Honorable noble guy? Yeah, it's gone. Lances for sale. Double sided lance. I need a jousting lance. You've not cracked one. No. Got nothing. Still only have this one type of food. Later on, as the party becomes larger, you worry more about morale. Having different kinds of food. Like, if I had two stacks of smoked fish, it would still just be plus five to morale. If I have different kinds of food, they would all contribute to morale. So. Especially when you have a large army near the end of the game, you have to keep their morale up, and um, you're worried about them eating too much, like if you're doing a siege. It's not uncommon to have two stacks of every kind of food, which is a lot of inventory space. Yeah, there's nothing for us here. I don't think there's anything else that we want. We don't need more food. Do you have any lame horses? Lame saddle horse. Yeah. Should I spend money? Yeah, whatever. Okay, I'm going to put this in here. Crap, I just realized I don't even have a doctor yet. Yeah, we'll get lame horses later. Um, if we had a doctor, uh, I would put him in there and the horse would slowly heal and then I would give him to... Uh, what's his name? Elaine. Because I think he has riding already. But as it is, tough shit. Alright, what's the next large town that we can go to and not get killed in? I do not want to go up here because... The roaming bands are all horse archers, and they'll catch us and kill us. Let's go to Dirham. That seems relatively safe. There's a whole lot of mountain bounds, bandits around here that I want to avoid. All right, I'm above 30%, so at least I can fight, but it wouldn't. It doesn't mean that I should. Let's see. Right around here is where I should be look, seeing some bandits. Or I would be seeing them if my tracker was alive. Uh, speed 6.1. Whoa! Whoa! No! 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 Bad. I really want to get a doctor. I think Jeremus is the guy that I need in this particular party configuration. Okay, here we go. We're going to make it safely. Is it worth waiting? I think it's worth waiting. Let's wait for dawn. Or wait for morning so we don't get jumped on the way in. There's a Lord Devilon. I'm just holding on the space bar now to make time pass. I could also camp, but that gives me less reaction time. Okay, this should be good. Let's visit the tavern. Ferentus, I need him. Let's talk to him. 
I'm lost, lost. What a whiner he is. Why so gloomy, friend? I have committed the greatest of sins, sir. To my shame, the was I point. You might confess, sir, if you should like to hear it. Well, not really, but okay. I was a captain of a horse of the service of the Lord here in Durham. My brothers served with me. We were both in love with the same woman, a courtesan, a temptress who played upon our jealousies. Well, of course. That's what they do. My brother and I quarreled. I drunk too much. He slapped me with his glove and I spit him upon my sword. My own brother, my sword, I was stained with the blood of my kin. Do you believe there is hope for a man like me? Nope. Can I find a path of righteousness or am I doomed to follow the demons that dwell inside of me? No, you're pretty much fucked, but why not come along with us? Uh, you might consider joining us, right, wrongs, fight, oppress us, redeem yourself, that kind of thing, whatever. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Let's hire him. Yes, you must have been sent by divine promise. Lead me, lead me away from darkness. Does he want any money? Yeah. No, he doesn't. I'm well practiced in the arts of war, but I beg you, sir, which use my skills to defend the innocent, the pure, and the defenseless, not to be a common brigand and wreak more... Oh, whatever. Shh, Jesus. Come on. Let's go. Alright, so now I have Ferentus. The whiner. Um, any lances here? Another really good poleaxe that I don't need right now. Uh, no, that's too much money. Uh, did I miss it? No. You would think you would find more jousting lances down here in the kind of swatting area, but apparently not. Eh. Let's go. Let's take a look at our party. Let's move him up. The This doesn't matter now. They're all going to show up if they're not wounded. But later on, like, let's say you have a doctor, and you want the doctor to stay alive no matter what, you put him at the very bottom of the list, because when guys come onto the field, they come on in order of in order of this list. So if I had like a whole bunch of troops here and a doctor at the bottom, he would probably not show up in the first wave. That's good because it keeps him alive and he can like perform surgery on people, but it's bad because then he doesn't gain experience. Eh, you have to balance it out. And we still have these eight freaking looters. Parentis, what has he got on him? Let's see your equipment. Another sword, another tabard, which I'll be stealing and yeah, okay, let's go. Where do we go next? Hmm, Proven and Uxal are pretty close, and then I can wander up here and avoid this whole area. Maybe I can get to make maybe I can make it to Ichimor without getting killed. Let's go to Proven. I almost forgot there were some guys here I wanted to avoid. Doo -doo 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 -doo. There's a caravan. Maybe I'll be preying on them a little bit later. There's another caravan. Caravans have tons of kind of weak horse guys, so if you have a lot of infantry, just pack them on a hill, and they don't have a commander, so they'll just charge right into it. As I recall, then you just pick off the foot troops. Let's see who's in Proven. There's another tournament here. Let's go to the tavern. Ransom. Oh, go to Ransom Broker. Is this the same guy? No, he's going to give us the same speech. I don't care. The only guy who has a different speech is the guy who's in tier, who's uh, specifically a galley slave guy. Let's sell these guys off. Yay! Market. Jousting lance, jousting lance. Ooh, that's a good bag of arrows, but not gonna spend the money on it. Just yet. Oh, come on, guys. Yeah, they don't have it. I could buy stuff for Ferentis, but screw him. He's gonna get. Uh, he's going to get the, like, crap that we pick up off the ground. I'm never going to throw these stones, so I'll just put the short sword here. Uh, if things get really bad, then I'll, uh, pull out the short sword. Oh, we can give those rocks to Ferentus. Here you go. Here's an amazing new weapon for you. Congratulations. They'll probably hit me with it. Uh, Uxal. I think we got enough food for a while. 
Ooh, there's some looters. Let's go get the looters. See if we can catch up to them. There they are. They move kind of slow. You better not be a man. Yay! I hope I have enough health to do this. Yeah, once again, you guys just go. Good luck. Uh, I'm at like it's about 60% health, I guess. Gotta be a little bit careful. You know what? You guys follow me. We'll set up so you guys can actually fire fire your terrible rocks and shit into this valley. Right there they are. Everyone hold position. Let's see if the Shavi can actually kill any of them. I doubt she can. She's not that good yet. No. Firing a little bit wide. Yeah. Let me get a little bit closer. I'll start running around there. Then I'll get these guys to charge and sacrifice themselves. Oh, come on. Why aren't you throwing a land? Did I not give you rocks? Oh, shit. Don't throw rocks at me. Oh, hey, she hit someone. Congratulations. Woo! Oh, no. Oh, I'm so bad. Hit my horse. Oh, hey. Good job. Oh, don't hit me. Aww. All right, I'll just run around here and guy throw rocks. How's that? Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. No, too slow. No, 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 no. Oh, I am not hitting anyone. I'm so bad at this. All right, well, they're charging up, so now everyone charge. Good luck. Oh, hey, they got one. They're going to keep throwing rocks in... Oh! Wow. Companions are actually doing something. Hey, I knocked someone out. And now I have some prisoners. I think. I wonder how many got killed by arrows. Uh, I only killed one with arrows. The rest got knocked out by lance and rocks. Good. Capture. And here's some crap. Uh, do, 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 do. you need equipment, don't you? 22 armor. Yeah, this tabard really isn't that bad, but you look stupider like this, so there. Tattered nomad boots. No hat for you. I'm gonna sell that. Uh, I think everyone else has what they need. Yep. Let's move on to Uxal and hope that there's a slave trader there. As our tracking goes up, we'll get more information from these. Uh... Ooh, yeah, let's take the ch let's take a chance. Okay, Artemeter. I do not want him because people don't like him. There's a traveler. Here's a book merchant. The book merchant sells actually really useful stuff, but it costs a ton because there's no printing press. So much later on, I may buy some books from him. But there's no followers here and no ransom broker. Let's jump up here. Bounce Pike. Got my hopes up there. Ashwood Pike. Oh, come on. Yeah. No. And hunting bow. Hunting bows are actually kind of cool because you can give them to people with no power draw skill, like uh, me, and you can still use them. They don't do a lot of damage, though, but it's good for, like, training your guys up in archery, especially guys like doctors and such. You, you wait a long time. Uh, they don't have what I need. All right, let's get out of here. Any cheap horses? No, yeah, doesn't matter. Uh, can I make it to Ichimor? Well, no, I don't think I want to, because then I have to go all the way across there. And that would be bad. Let's go to Jokala. In general, I like to... I actually, when I have a few more people, I would stop off at these uh, little towns just to see if they have a bandit infestation, because... It'll give me a little bit of positive reputation with the town, and even if you're at war... Uh, the way it works is if you have a negative reputation... Well, these guys are off somewhere. Uh, if you have a negative reputation with the town, you can never recruit troops from there. If you have a positive reputation, you can, even if you're at war. So... I don't know. Force bandits. Uh, no, 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 go away. 
I hope I'm faster than you. I am. All right, let's see who's in the tavern. Anyone here I want to talk to? Ransom broker? Yes. No. Yeah, okay. Sell these guys off. All right. No followers I want. Is there a lance? Balance pole axe, of course. These things all go away when I actually need them. Sell this crap. Do I want the short sword? Yeah, I do. Um, nope. There's an iron staff. Nope. Oh, come on, guys. It's never there when you actually want it. Uh, okay, let's head all the way up here to Voluca. As long as we're here. We're moving fairly quickly. We can probably get away from anything that we want to get away from. Oh, looter. Eleven looters. Yeah, let's try it. Stroll, what the hell? Everyone follow me. Don't see them yet. Eleven is a bit much. Maybe I shouldn't have taken this. I want to get an idea of where they are before I position my guys. I don't see them. Probably over that hill. So... Oh, there they are. Okay. Let's be boring and safe about this. Everyone move back. In fact, you guys stand on the military crest here. Those of you who know what the military of the crest of the hill is, that might be impressive. Probably not, though. All right. Uh, those guys might get into trouble. I may have to have them hold their fire. No, they can throw while they're walking. Deshabi's in the back, so she'll probably make it. Uh, let's see if I can get one of these guys. No, oh, no, 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 no. Don't hit my horse. Dick. Here we go. Oh, missing again. Alright, hit one. Ah, shit. Eleven damage. That's a lot. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, these guys will be throwing at me because I'm closest. Ah, oh, crap, crap, crap. That's a bad idea. And now the cat's climbing at me. Archer, go away. Yay! Got one. Now there's a cat on my lap, and I'm trying to steer. Alright. You guys can just stand there, whatever. Uh, okay, hit that guy. Let's see if I can save my dudes over here. Nope. Just kind of ran actually through the middle of them. Alright, you guys charge. Good luck. Ugh. Bad angle. Oh, no, they're gonna... Okay, Ferentis killed someone. Why did he put his fucking sword away? Okay, he got a level. That's actually pretty good. Okay, hit that guy. Oh, I think we won. Did we win? Yes, Ferentis, the most useless party member. Congratulations. All right. Uh, let's see. Got two wounded. Captured six of them. Before Ferentis went on his murder spree. Got a hat for him. And a club for someone. Cool. Alright, Ferentis, let's level you up. Well, here, first I'll give you some stuff. Cat, stop doing that. I'm gonna steal your sword. Because I hate you. Uh, 27, 22, 26, 24, reach 85, reach 90. You know what? I like this better. Thank you. Okay. Uh, let's level you up. So for NPCs, um, some of them have special skills and you want to move those up. Like Deshavi's going to spend a lot of time on intelligence to increase her tracking and crap like that. Uh, in general, I just push strength and agility as much as I possibly can and get these uh, skills up, including power draw so they can all use bows. Eventually I want them all on bows. Uh, weapon Master, only when they need it. They don't need shield. Power Strike is very good for them, too. 
riding and horse archery, uh, since they're going to be firing from horseback a lot, is very good. And then for the higher level guys who don't have a specialty, I guess trainer. But right now, let's see. Oh, cat, cut it out. Uh, let's push up his strength for no good reason. And let's see, what does he need? Push up pole arms and archery at roughly the same rate. Um, Well, if I had a hunter, a riding three would be really good. Horse archery, if he was also riding. Those are actually pretty important for him, but... Hmm. You know what? Eventually he's going to be on a horse. Let's give him a horse archery one. Uh, no, power draw one, in case I find a bow and some arrows. There you go. Good luck. All of those are going to have to go up pretty soon. Wow, look how wounded these guys are. They suck. All right. Uh, where was I going? I was going to Voluka. The dog is snoring. Cat is pawing at wires. Pretty typical day. Always when I'm trying to play games. After this is a pretty long trip, so I hope I can get rid of these guys here. Uh, it's one of these taverns. I have to walk upstairs. So much effort. Oh, Beheshtar, I want him. But first, let's get rid of these guys. Fine. Uh, Borja, I do not want him, but I do want Beheshtar. Let's talk to him. Greetings, traveler. Would you join me for a drink? Uh, okay. With whom do I have the pleasure of drinking? I am Beheshtur, son of Azabe, grandson of Bazdan. Were you not a barbarian, you would likely know from my lineage that I am a roan horse. Oh, God. Fine. For long as anyone can remember, our people have feuded with the tribe of... <sighs> Jesus Christ. Uh, okay, yeah, he's one of those dudes from Game of Thrones. In the meantime, any opportunities to earn a living with my sword would be most welcome. Well, how about your bow and eventually, like, a poleaxe? And that's a spirit. Oh, what? Were you saying something? Oh, I might be able to offer you something. Why, that is a most generous offer. I shall not betray you, so long as, of course, as you do your duty to me by feeding me, paying me, and not dragging my miserable hide into a battle where there is no chance of winning. Uh... uh the various uh, characters actually have different things that they like and don't like, and sometimes you get a clue here. So he doesn't like being totally outnumbered and thrown into bloodbaths. Uh, some other guys are goody-two-shoes and don't like to like beat up peasants or engage in skullduggery and assassinations and stuff like that. Uh, as long as everyone is reasonably happy, though, like they'll just say something once and then you just go on with your life. Hand me some salt, if you will. It is the custom of our people to take salt from our captains. It's a token of their concern for our well-being. Uh, okay, here, have some salt. Thank you. Now, to seal for agreement, I ask for 400 dinars from you. It's an advice my father gave me. He told me, Bahashtor, never fight for a barbarian before he pays you your worth of gold first, dick. Uh, here's your 400 dinars and your first payment. He luckily doesn't cost 400 a week. I would never honor him. Okay, so now we have Bahashtor. Bahashtor is really good, actually. Let's get out of this tavern. I don't think... This, is there anyone else... Sometimes, like, it looks like this floor is pretty full, so maybe there's someone else upstairs. Usually not. Nope. Let's get out of here. Uh, so Beheshtor is also going to move up here. In fact, I guess I'll move ahead of Ferentus, because I think he's actually quite capable. Let's see your equipment. Uh, he's got a saber. He's got to get a bow. He's got... I think he has pretty good archery. So, 30 armor here. He's okay. He needs a hat. And a club, of course, because we're just capturing people. Eh, never mind. Alright, let's take a look at the arms merchant once again. Sell off this crap. There goes your short sword. Old frickin' de hoity toity guy. They stole a better weapon from someone else. Ugh, no jousting lance. I just need to be able to capture people. All right, let's get out of here. All right, we're in Voluka. The next, we see, we've been to have we we've been to Jokala. So let's run over to Yelin. That's kind of a long haul. We might run into trouble on the way. 
And we don't have... Our party's not really up to snuff yet. We have two guys who are very badly wounded. I could attack these caravans while I'm unaffiliated, but... That's like a negative... That's like a negative reputation for relatively no benefit. If I was at war... If I was like a vassal of a state and I was at war with them, then... Yeah, absolutely. They're worth a lot of money, sometimes. And free experience. Because they're so easy to beat. Uh, let's see. Going through the woods. I hope no one attacks me. See all these cities being looted. Someone's at war with the Rodox. Whoa! Looters! Oh! You better not be a man Yay! Let's charge the weak enemy. We have only three people. Don't care. Let's go. You guys just, like, have fun. This is hilly terrain, which isn't actually good for my horse, because I wind up, like, going up hills a lot, like that, and it causes, like, at best, a damage reduction on Lance, and at worst, I can't couch at all. I have to go to club, which I'd rather not do if I can avoid it. Well, these guys are just advancing, so... I mean, my guys are just advancing, so I'm just going to try and buy them some time. Yep. Okay, couple of hits. Ah, oh, shit. Move, move. Okay, two down. Oh, no. No, don't throw rocks at me, dick. And here they come. With their rocks. Our rocks are better than yours. Ugh. You also can't get a good angle on them on the hilly terrain for the lance hit. Come on, save Ferentus! Save Ferentus! Save Ferentus! Or something. I don't know, whatever. Ugh. Now Behestra's probably gonna kill him. Nope, knocked him unconscious. Another prisoner. Four wounded, only killed one. Captured four of them. Oh, and Ferentis got wounded enough to the point where he's going to be out of action anyway. Great. Thanks, guy. Oh, got a... Ooh, it's a nicer hat. Take this hat, too. And some rocks. Hi, Felicia. Okay, let's take a look at this party here. Uh, Bastard, you need a green hat, don't you? Yep. You need a hat, and you need some rocks. Uh, does anyone else need a... I think his armor is actually pretty good. Let's see, it's 30 armor? Yeah, okay, he's pretty good. I think everyone else has a dumb hat. Let's just take a look. Hat, 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 hat. Okay, we can sell the rest of these guys. I forget where... Now I forget where I was going. I was going to Yalen. Okay. Let's go sell these guys off. Hopefully meet someone else. Only two guys can fight, so there's not much we can take right now. Mm. Did I already go to Suno? I don't think so. Let's go to the tavern. Oh, there's a farmer. If you talk to the farmer, he gives you a quest to go save his village from marauding bands, but we only have two guys. There's nothing we can do, really. So, too bad. Uh, another ransom broker. This is a booming business. It's easy to see why. Arms merchant. Take my green hat. Uh, uh, nope. Doesn't have what I want. I should start looking into getting some other horses, but without a doctor, there's not much of a point. <sighs> Cat's knocking stuff over, of course. Let's go to Suno. I'm not... I can't remember if I visit Suno or not. I don't think I was... The companions... Whoa! No, 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 no. The companions move around sometimes. Right, here's a battle. The Alchas are going to lose that one for sure. Companions move around sometimes, but... Uh, if I can't find them all at these other cities, then I'm going to have to go into the Oaks Hall in that area. I can see by the vines and terraces on the hillside that I'm near home. I have no wish to see my family, so I'll linger outside the walls of going to town. I'm sure you'll understand. 
they like you better if you listen to their boring stories. And the Veil of Sinor, delicate customs are closer than anywhere else in Colorado. Those of the old Colorado Empire, we grow olives and wine, both cross brought to this land from overseas by the emperors, and also follow the old Colorado ways. We keep our pledges and pay our debts. I don't see how. You're so poor. How can you pay anything? We men of Sinor also never forget an insult and avenge any wrong done to us. Oh, like your brother. Old-fashioned Colorado honor, I dare say, has brought me to my current fallen state, but despite that, I am proud to be from this region. Our lord is a vassal of the Swadian king and Provin, but as far as we are concerned, his is just yet another barbarian chieftain, and we are the Empire's true heirs. Uh, thanks. Uh, here's another farmer with a sob story. Here's a traveler, and here's a mercenary. Nope. Arms merchant. Mm, uh, there's some like clubs and maces and stuff, I guess. Eventually, like those will be useful if I want to capture people. Nah, eh, whatever. Let's get out of here. They don't have what we want. Uh, okay, now getting to tier may be tricky because there's a whole bunch of like fairly tough NPCs in the way. And I really do not want to run into them. Especially through these woods. Do I have my tracker up yet? Yeah. Okay, Deshavi is conscious, so at least I should be able to see them, and I'm moving a little bit faster. And there's enough Norse lords around here that I can... Uh-oh. Uh, that I should be able to... Uh, like, they'll scare people away. Unfortunately, they're probably scaring people towards Tyr. Alright, gotta be careful here. 4.5 speed. Can I make it? Will I make it? I gained some experience. Oh, shit. Uh, it's probably safer just to go in. Let's try that. Let's go to the tavern. Hey! Katrin. I don't want her. She's kind of a bitch. Another traveler. And up here is Ramon. Let's talk to him, even though I don't have any... One. He was like the slave trader from the original, uh, original version of the game when it was in beta. So his dialogue's a little bit different, but functionally he's the same. It's just that he's almost always here, so you can almost always sell people in tier. Good day to you, young man. You look like a trader. I see none of your merchandise. Trader? Oh, I, I certainly have that. My merchandise is a bit different from most, however. It has to be fed and watered twice a day. It tries to run away if I turn my back. Livestock. Close enough. I like to call myself the man who keeps every boat on this ocean moving. Boats are driven by oars, you see, and oars need men to pull them, or they stop. That's where I come in. Galley slaves. No, you're catching on. A trading port like this couldn't survive without them. The ships lose a few hands on every voyage, so there's always a high demand. The captains come to me and they pay well. Where do these slaves come from? Mostly ideal and convicted criminals, bought from the authorities. Others are prisoners of war from various nations, brought to me because I offer the best prices. The he offers exactly the same price. However, on occasion, I'll buy from privateers and other individuals. You can't be picky about your suppliers in this line of work. You wouldn't happen to have any prisoners with you, would you? Me? Why not? If you intend to set foot outside this town, you're going to cross swords with someone sooner or later. And God willing, you'll come out on top. Why not make some extra money off the whole thing? Take them alive, bring them back to me, and I'll pay you 50 dollars for each head. Don't much care who they are or where they come from. I'll think about it. Of course I'll do it. Do think about it. There's a lot of silver to be made, no mistake. More than enough for the both of us. Well, he's a pleasant sort of fellow. Take a quick look at the market. <clears throat> no, 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 no. Wow, this is really frustrating. Well, and now I'm stuck down here in a place that I know is fairly hostile, and is at night, and I'm going to have to get out of here eventually. So I'll just pause this here, and uh, we'll get back to it next time. Thanks a lot.